Semites, Semitic people or Semitic cultures from the biblical Shem. Hebrew, SM was a term for an ethnic, cultural or racial group who speak or spoke the Semitic languages, first used in the 1770s by members of the Göttingen School of History. The terminology was derived from Shem, one of the three sons of Noah in the book of Genesis, together with the parallel terms Hamites and Japhetites. The terminology is now largely obsolete outside linguistics. However, in archaeology, the term is sometimes used informally as a kind of shorthand for ancient Semitic speaking peoples. Ethnicity and race In the racialist classifications of Carlton S. Kuhn, the Semitic peoples were considered to be members of the Caucasian race, not dissimilar in appearance to the neighboring Indo-European, Northwest Caucasian, and Kartvelian-speaking peoples of the region. As language studies are interwoven with cultural studies, the term also came to describe the religions ancient Semitic and Abrahamic and Semitic-speaking ethnicities as well as the history of these varied cultures as associated by close geographic and linguistic distribution. Some recent genetic studies have found by analysis of the DNA of Semitic-speaking peoples that they have some common ancestry. Although no significant common mitochondrial results have been found, Y chromosomal links between Semitic speaking peoples of the Middle East, like Arabs, Jews, Mandaeans, Samaritans, and Assyrians, Syriacs have shown links, despite differences contributed from other groups. See y chromosomal A DNA study of six Middle Eastern populations Ashkenazi, Sephardic, and Kurdish Jews from Israel, Muslim Kurds, Muslim Arabs from Israel and the Palestinian Authority area, and Bedouin from the Negev," found that Jews were more closely related to groups in the north of the Fertile Crescent Kurds, Turks, and Armenians than to their Arab neighbors. Genetic studies indicate that modern Jews Ashkenazi, Sephardic and Mizrahi specifically, Levantine Arabs, Assyrians, Syriacs, Samaritans, Maronites, Druze, Mandaeans, and Malami, all have a common Near Eastern heritage which can be genetically mapped back to the ancient Fertile Crescent, but often also display genetic profiles distinct from one another, indicating the different histories of these peoples. Antisemitism and Semiticization The terms anti Semite or antisemitism came by a circuitous route to refer more narrowly to anyone who was hostile or discriminatory towards Jews in particular. Anthropologists of the 19th century, such as Ernest Renan, readily aligned linguistic groupings with ethnicity and culture, appealing to anecdote, science, and folklore in their efforts to define racial character. Moritz Steinschneider, in his periodical of Jewish Letters Hamasker 3 Berlin 1860, 16, discusses an article by Heyman Steinthal criticizing Renan's article, "...new considerations on the general character of the Semitic peoples, in particular their tendency to monotheism." Renan had acknowledged the importance of the ancient civilizations of Mesopotamia, Israel etc. but called the Semitic races inferior to the Aryan for their monotheism, which he held to arise from their supposed lustful, violent, unscrupulous and selfish racial instincts. Steinthal summed up these predispositions as Semitism, and so Steinschneider characterized Renan's ideas as anti-Semitic prejudice. In 1879 the German journalist Wilhelm Marr began the politicization of the term by speaking of a struggle between Jews and Germans in a pamphlet called Der Weg zum Siege des Germanenthums über das Judentum, the way to victory of Germanicism over Judaism. He accused the Jews of being liberals, a people without roots who had Judaized Germans beyond salvation. In 1879 Marr's adherents founded the League for Antisemitism which concerned itself entirely with anti-Jewish political action. Objections to the usage of the term, such as the obsolete nature of the term, Semitic, as a racial term and the exclusion of discrimination against non-Jewish Semitic peoples, have been raised since at least the 1930s. See also Ancient Semitic-speaking peoples Generations of Noah Hamites Japhetites <laughs>